This episode of the Cinema Psycho Show is sponsored by Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code CINEMA20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code CINEMA20 at manscaped.com. Do you think we're going to get a Bruce Wayne cameo in this? Oh, probably, yeah. Arthur will scream at him like walking down the street and the, the 12, 13, 14 year old will be like, what was that all about? And then Alfred will be like, I don't know, Mr. Wayne. Oh, he said the thing, you know. Welcome to the Cinema Psycho Show, the madhouse for film freaks and film fans of all types. I'm your host, Brian Kyneton. Join my fellow co-host and filmmaker, John Woolscroft. Let's take a little sneaky peek at another movie trailer, shall we? Yeah, yeah. We had, uh, you know, a lot of really good reaction to our our last trailer react video. And I'm going to let you all in on a little secret. We actually did record one about mm, two or three weeks ago. Ooh, you're outing yourself on this. One. I'm out. I'll out myself on this. So, so long story short, I did one on Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and uh, I wanted to record that because one, it was really cool, uh, really cool, cool trailer, and John and I are big Beetlejuice fans, and Michael Keaton fans, and Tim Burton fans, so like it kind of fit, and I had the trailer recorded, I had the episode done, and. I went to Podcast Movement Evolutions because I was speaking there as part of my my day job. And sure enough, I was cleaning out my laptop before going to the conference and I deleted the Beetlejuice episode. And at least it was that and not the actual podcast episode. That's true. That's true. Our episode on RRR, which is right now doing gangbusters on YouTube. Thank you, folks on YouTube who like our, our, our episode um that one's doing really well um so that one didn't get deleted but unfortunately our beetlejuice trailer react video did so you know i told john like uh, i suck and you know we were gonna like re-record it uh but ended up deciding to do another one instead and i just want to shout out thank you to the folks on our youtube poll because John, I did poll people to see what trailer they wanted us to do a reaction on first, on uh, next, and uh, this one came up. And this is the the Joker two, also known as Joker. I don't know French here. Folly adieu, folly adieu, folly adieu. So we're gonna we're gonna watch this. John, did you watch this one yet? I did. Just one. Just one. I did one. too. But I, I, you know, we haven't watched this collectively. Um, I'm curious to know what John's thoughts are on this. I have some thoughts too, and uh, let's ready to rock and roll. You ready to rock uh, and roll? Real quick, the it yeah, translates yeah. to madness for two. Ah, and I, and I'm not like super small or cultured. I literally just googled it. If everybody googled saw my eyes shit. looking down, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So with that said, John, are you ready to to watch the trailer? Let's do it. All right. Let's jump. Let's jump to it. Poor walking Phoenix. Yeah. Couldn't they have let Arthur gain some weight in these movies no just for his today. sake? It's like, just give that man a sandwich. <laughs> this shot surprised me when I saw the trailer. So are, is Harley an inmate as well? Yes. They're not making her like, you know, a psychiatrist. Okay. To balance the fractures within ourselves. Good use of color in these shots. Well, this is like a man in Paris meets taxi driver, you know? Yep. So, I feel that the movie is telling us with that line there that what he did in the first movie was not all in his head, that it actually happened. Oh, I imagine it all did. Yeah. I didn't think any of it was fake. We had just we had an unreliable narrator, so I wasn't yep. sure. What the world needs now is a love sweet love. I really do think this movie's gonna be batshit in the best way or worst way possible. But, uh, well, there's supposed to be a musical, so I'm curious to know how they're gonna grapple that into all this too. 
I like that she's going by Gaga in this because I thought she kind of went by Stephanie Germain for movies, but. No, she always went by Gaga. Did she? Okay. Yeah. It seems like you have a lot of lay or wiggle room because 99% of this is probably in their heads. Yeah. It allows you to do basically whatever you want, I want visually. To see the real you. Nice shot. Hey, fellas, quick heads up from the grooming front lines. Shaving your jewels doesn't have to be risky business anymore. Thanks to our friends over at Manscaped and their Lawnmower 5.0, I got one right here, you can forget about nicking your bits. This trimmer is all about keeping things smooth and safe. So you can trim with confidence. Head over to manscaped.com and snag 20% off plus free shipping with the code CINEMA20. With Manscaped, it's easy grooming and no surprises. John, we've known each other for a long time, right? Mm -hmm. Have you ever sliced your balls oh all the time I, i've got i've got very sensitive nads let me just sensitive put it that nads. way I, I try not to go down uh, down there too much because in my balls end up looking like everybody who wasn't harrison ford in witness you know just ah. amish, amish nuts all the time i mean for me i have had problems where i literally have sliced down there and it looks like a horror show you know and i don't i don't want people's balls to look like a Cinebytes play thing. So we know that dudes get a little heebie-jeebies when it comes to going down there. And if you want to get a close shave, honestly, this guy right here, the Lawnmower 5.0, can do it for you. This fifth-generation trimmer features two interchangeable next-gen skin-safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little bit off the top. All right, John's got one right there. And a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. I use this one right here because I want to go smooth. With dual LED spotlights, you'll achieve better visibility, making every trim more precise and hassle-free. You could even shave your balls in complete darkness now if you really wanted to, thanks to the LED light. Although I really don't recommend it, but you could. It's right. Worried you'll make a mess? This bad boy is also waterproof. You can shave in the shower, in the bath, or in the ocean. I don't know why you would shave in the ocean, but guess what? You can. I love this thing because it does come in a compact case, making it really great for travel. Trust me. This trimmer will be your crown jewels, best buddy. Brian, let me ask you something. Sure. Listeners to our podcast or even viewers now, can they get some kind of special deal? Oh, they can. You can get 20% off and free shipping with the code CINEMA20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code CINEMA20 at manscaped.com. Show your ball some love and feel free as a dove. Wow, there's I'm impressed. I wouldn't call that a teaser trailer, but it's it's not like it's not one of those trailers that tells you basically everything from the plot. And there's like I feel that if we if this was like a YouTube channel for us, we could do like a whole 29 minute breakdown every single shot and predict what's going on. We're not going to do that. shit. No, we're not going to do that shit. But it's just like, yeah, there there's a lot of very quick shots and it was like what what the hell is that is that in their heads oh that's that's weird like you know um so yeah i'll be i'll be very interested to see if this is a beautiful disaster or just a a, a beautiful success so. well, i mean for for me you know what's nice to see is them continuing the vibe of the first one like i think that's the danger that sometimes sequels get into especially sequels to really good movies. Like the first Joker was amazing and amazing. Even when I personally was not a hundred percent like on board with it, John, I don't know if you remember like when that, that first, you know, teaser trailer came out of the Joker years ago, I was like, uh, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was like, that's not the Joker. So like I, but I was proved wrong, you know, and it, it ended up being a really, really solid drama um about what you know environment can do to somebody um so i'm curious to see what they do with this one and you know you mentioned a minute ago about how 
the events happening in Arthur's head were real, like they weren't made up. Um, and it sounds and it looks, according to the trailer, like there's a bit more of that where maybe those musical numbers are those things in his head when the real things that he's doing are the horrible things. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm also curious to see how Gaga does in this because we've already seen a Harley Quinn. That's pretty comic faithful with Margot Robbie. Yeah. I think that that's fair, but I, I do think since this is like, alternate timeline i do i have no problem with her being another inmate because that makes more sense than like i know that some people can go into the world of the psychology of the mind because maybe they themselves have an issue that they want to figure out um that could be damaging and i see that somebody like a harley quinn could go crazy but the idea of she's a fellow inmate that makes more logical sense to me. And it also ties a little bit with, with what Arthur was going through in the first movie, right? Like you, you get that his neighbor was, he made this relationship in his head up, right. Mm -hmm. Of his relationship to, to Zazie beats as a real thing. When in actuality, it wasn't like, and I think there's some people who think that it was real. I don't think it was real. I think oh, no, no, no. There's a whole line where she's like, hey, I don't know who you are. You get out of yeah. my apartment. Yeah. It's it's a character who has been infantilized his whole life, has finally done something that yeah. he misrepresents as masculine. And in his head, like that's his his way of I'm I'm a man now because I'm going to make the sex in my brain. Make it the sex. You know, because <laughs> I'm, I'm what, not my mom's little boy anymore. I killed what, somebody. But what's interesting is like this is the next progression where he does have a real relationship with somebody yeah. where it isn't just in his head. And it's like you have a relationship with someone who is as psychotic as you are. And what does that lead to? So I, I'm curious to see how this goes. Um, you know, obviously the goodwill that the first Joker did, did I think is going to go a long way. Um, I now I want to ask you this question. John. Do you think. We're going to get a Bruce Wayne cameo in this some, in some case. Maybe what, like, because was it was Bruce in the first one, like eight, probably. Yeah, eight. he was like eight. So maybe in like this one, he's like an 11 year old kid or something. Yeah, oh, but maybe he's a teenager at this point. Right. We don't know how long he's been sitting in the, the Arkham, but maybe yeah. he's a teenager. Do you think we're going to get a cameo? Oh, probably. Yeah. And it'll be like, you know, Arthur will scream at him like walking down the street. And they'll go and you're like the, the 12, 13, 14 year old will be like, what was that all about? And then Alfred will be like, I don't know, Mr. Wayne. And I'm like, oh, he said the thing, you know, it'll be Master Wayne, Master Wayne. Mr. Wayne. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Alfred never calls him Mr. Wayne. It's Master Wayne. Master um, Wayne. But but yeah, I, 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 I almost don't want to see that. Because I think that pissed off a lot of people last time was like them shoehorning in the murder of Bruce's parents in like a story just about the Joker. Um, I didn't mind it, but I know a lot of people were like, really, we're going to do this again. I, I didn't mind it at all for for one specific reason. It was a different take on it. That yes. Basically, Thomas Wayne was created. He was part of a system that created a world that got him killed. So it's like, oh, OK, it's kind of like this is like a what if universe. This is an alternate yeah. timeline. And more than when Zack Snyder did it for Batman v Superman, where it's like, yeah, we 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 know this. We've seen this. Yeah. Plus, I honestly liked that, um, you know, Thomas Wayne wasn't uh, sainted. Because that's a common thing is that, you know, Batman's parents can do no wrong. Right. And it's like, well, no, people are more complicated than that. So, well, John, I don't know about you. I'm excited to see this when it drops in, in the fall. October. Yeah. October, early October, I believe. Unless Warner Brothers changes their minds and pushes it further or back. Or, I heard the crow now is getting pushed back. Of course. Yeah. Man, yeah. I guess I guess some people didn't like the trailer. Hey, <laughs> to all of you. Some who are people didn't like the trailer. For all of you that are upset that he doesn't look like Brandon Lee, like, 
he looks comic faithful with mm. the black makeup. So if you like, if you're a fan of the graphic novel, you're probably thrilled that he looks more accurate to the graphic novel. Buddy, people who are fans of the graphic novel don't like this movie either. They're not yeah. looking at it from that stand. They're just like, you fucked up. <laughs> but there's go go watch our trailer react to that. <laughs> that was a good one. Um, but with that said, John, where can they find you at on the internet? Um, you can find me over at Instagram and Facebook. Um, I'm pretty much done with Elon's uh, passion. E- Elon Musk. Yeah, yeah, I'm done with his Musk. Um, not that I was really posting on it when it's just Twitter, anyways. To be perfectly honest, I just have it there to be there, but I do not interact on Twitter. I have it there, so if you're there, great. But honestly, I've moved on to Instagram personally. Yeah. Um, and yeah, over at uh, YouTube, I am currently working on working uh, my demolition man. So many questions that I hope to have out very, very soon. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, you can, of course, uh, find us at simpsonsikershow.com. I want to do you, uh, uh, ask you all a favor, though. If you like these trailer react videos, let us know if you want more of these. Um, and on top of that, if you like the podcast, do me a favor tell your friends about it if you've got friends who are film people or movie people and you're like hey they might like brian and john's take on things go ahead and share this episode with them um but if you want to follow us you can go to cinemasagoshow.com forward slash follow we've got all of our podcast links there as well as where you can contact and reach us um as well as if you're watching us on youtube go ahead hit that subscribe hit the follow button hit the little like button so you never miss an episode with that said brian we'll see you next time Brian here right before we, we wrap up I just also want to say um, I'm sorry to step on you there I thought I could cut you off before we got there um, also if you guys go if to manscape.com and you find something that you would buy in the store anyways if you buy it on manscape.com with our promo code you are going to be spectacularly helping out the show I'm not saying go out of your way but if it's something you were going to buy a giant eagle or something anyways Go on, use our promo code, buy it off of Manscaped, and you're going to help out your boys at the Cinema Psycho Show. Use promo code CINEMA20. But thank you, John. Word. Word.